welcome to Marlin's All Access Home Edition, brought to you by your local Toyota dealers. Our very first guest is our very own JP Aaron Sebia. JP, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me on. Uh, I got a lot of time these days, so welcome to my home. <laughs> Don't we all? And you're you're joining us from the comfort of your living room, I presume. That's correct. I'm sitting on my couch here, nice and uh, comfortable. <laughs> I think I'm putting a hole in it from sitting on it so much, but it's been nice. So JP, first things first, how are you? How's the family? How's everyone doing there during these uh, crazy times we're living in? Well, first off, uh, thank you to like all the first responders, all the medics that are out there, the nurses, the doctors, everybody just helping out. I mean, the people that are stuck in the stores, there's so much things going on. So like, we're so I'm very thankful for all of them. My family, I have a first responder. Uh, my brother-in-law is a, a chief of the fire department. So he's out there working. Um, so, you know, it's kind of crazy to think that, you know, he's out there and then coming home with my sister who has the six kids. Uh, but everybody's doing fine. And I'm very grateful during these times that we are doing fine. And, and uh, you know, it's a, it's a weird time. No one knows what to do, which is the biggest thing. I think that's the most confusing thing is, no one really understands what's going on. No one really knows what to do. So you're just trying to live day by day and just, you know, kind of make the adjustments that you need to make. Absolutely. It really is these like unprecedented times. No one really knows how to handle it. But I'm with you there. Thank you to everybody from people stocking the stores to firefighters. My brother, too, is a firefighter. So thanks to him and everyone out there helping out. Um, so there's only really one thing we can do in these kind of times, right, is try to stay positive, try to get through it together, listen to what the health officials, everyone's telling us to do. So you, I want to know what you've been up to during this time, JP. Well, one thing that I've, I've really been on is, is I've been watching a lot of videos uh, on a lot of successful people on, on their morning routines, because as an athlete, you know, we're so routine oriented. And when something like this happens, it really kind of rocks your world for a sense, because you're just used to doing certain things. And so I started really learning how, how they start their mornings and a lot of them start with meditation and they, they sit out somewhere and they start writing notes for the day or whatever their plan is for the day. So that's something that I've really started to try to do. I wake up, I sit down, I write a to-do list. You can't see this, but it's a to-do list. And so I, I try to write different things about what I want to do. Usually I start the day with a workout. I, uh, I, I try to go outside in my front yard. I've bought some kettlebells. I have a bar. I, I actually built a, a pull-up bar into my the side of my house, which is a little absurd, but it was something for me to stay training. And that was a big part of my routine. So I wake up in the morning, have a coffee, start writing some notes. You know, as like I said, I meditate first and I try to listen to something positive. I try to, to watch a, vis a video that's positive. I try to watch or listen to a podcast that's positive to get my mind right and, and to start moving forward. Like I said, I write down some notes and then I go work out. And then after I work out, I uh, then eat my breakfast and then start hitting that to-do list. I did bring something so that oh people can see. We've got so, this right, so this right here is apple cider vinegar with lemon juice and water. And it's supposed to be very good for your immunity. So I'm also trying to learn on different things that can help for your immunity. So this is usually really tough for me to do. It's not the best tasting. So I wanted you guys to really experience this with me. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, it's uh. doesn't go down easy, does it? No, no. And uh, so I wanted you guys to get to experience uh, part of my morning routine. So this has been your go-to every single morning for how long since all this started? Or have you been doing that beforehand? Uh, I, had, I had actually got into it a little bit beforehand. My eyes are watering. <laughs> And by the way, the sinuses. Oh man! But especially during these times, I I, I want to make sure that you know I've I've read a lot of different things on how important eating clean is and doing different things, especially for your immunity. So I've really like honed in on things that are going to help your immunity. This is one of them, and uh, again, it's tough to put down. Mm. <sighs> That's tough, but it's, it's really good for you. Entertainment, folks. Thank you. Yeah. Debbie. It's really good for you. So I wanted to share that that morning routine so you could see that it's uh it's not the best, but it's really good for you. So you mentioned several times uh, the word positive and from watching videos to just trying to take out the positives yourself. What are some of the positives that you've tried to take out um, of this situation that we're in? 
Well, you know, what's, what's crazy is when this started happening, I actually wrote a list of goals that I wanted to kind of attain during this time, right? Because if, you know, if we're supposed to stay in and, and we can't do certain things, well, how can I improve myself? And I think that's something that has kept me positive is trying to work on something and better myself. You know, I, I, I wanted to read more. I wanted to a lot more positive stuff. I try to stay away from the news as much because... I, I really just want during this time, obviously, there's a lot of negative things going on. You, I just try to focus on a lot of positive things. Obviously, social media, there's a ton of challenges <laughs> going on. So you kind of lock in on that. And we're going to get to that. We're going to get to that here shortly. But I definitely but that's that's been a huge thing for me is really is really sticking to that goals. You know, I have even like silly goals. Like I want to learn how to try to do a handstand. You know, I put in there, try to read every day. I, there, there's there's just certain things that I think that I try to. And one thing that I've done that's really helped is actually like be quiet, like be still in the sense of we always have so much stuff going on. And to think about it, this is probably the only time you would think in a very long time, maybe ever, that we'll have this down, down, down time. So really trying to take it to like sit back and go <sighs> taking life. I mean, uh, I'm, again, I'm very grateful to be in the position I'm in. I'm healthy. And, uh, you know, I try to take, you know, look outside, look at families walking together. It's beautiful. I see kids riding bikes with their families. So I try to really take in all the positives that I see. Uh, and that's really helped me. And it's funny because being baseball broadcasters, we have an off season, but it's only our off season, right? Everybody else in the world is still moving. But like you said, it's kind of the first time maybe ever that the entire world is on the same schedule in a weird yeah. way. But I heard you mention social media. So let's get to the fun stuff. Let's get to the fun stuff right now. So uh, what are some of the best things that you've come across on social media during this quarantine period? Because there, well, there have been some good things out there. There's been on it. So I love the push up challenge. I think that, <laughs> that I think that 10, I think that 10, 10 was kind of, uh, but I like that. Here's the thing. <laughs> I, I like that it was anything on, on social media that spreads positivity. Um, I think is cool. And so if people are exercising, that's a positive action that, that gets the endorphins going, gets you in a better mood. So uh, I like the push up challenge. I liked, I, I don't have a dog and I'm such a dog person. I love the see a pup, send a pup. People were putting pictures of their dogs up there, that's which I thought, guilty. Th which I love because uh, again, I'm a dog person. Um, what other challenges? I, we, we put baseball challenges. They had game face on. I did a, I did a challenge actually that Jazz Chisholm uh, posted. I, I put like, I wanted to see highlights of guys because they had challenged me to put a highlight. So yeah. I put a highlight and then I said, man, I just want to see highlights. I miss baseball. I want to see baseball highlights. Jazz Chisholm uh, answered back and reposted and showed some of his home run highlights and defensive highlights. So What was yours? What was your highlight that you chose? Uh, there so first off, I, I'm, these are things that I've learned during this, oh, this time. I learned how to actually record your screen on your iPhone. I didn't know that you could do that. So I went onto YouTube and I looked for a highlight and I learned how to, that I could actually record the screen. I didn't know how people always put videos on. Uh, so I did that and it was a, a video of me throwing a runner out. And then the next one was hitting a home run. And uh, so that was mine. And, and so people responded, but uh, it's been fun to watch, but my favorite one, honestly, has been the exercise ones. I think I did one the other day. This guy challenged me, who I know, who has a CrossFit gym, and it was 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, and it was 50 burpees, 50 lunges, 50 sit-ups, 40 lunges, 40 burpees, 40 sit-ups, all the way, all the way down until 10, and uh, it's not fun, but it kind of, those are challenges that I enjoy because it pushes, it, it pushes me. Yeah, I, I'm going to go ahead and... What about you? I passed up on the push-up challenge. Maybe maybe now that we've talked about it, maybe I'm going to have to go back and try to do that. I was tagged in a couple of those. I was like, I don't know how I feel about that. You tagged me in something. You tagged me in like the drawing yourself. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have to do that. I haven't done that yet either. But that oh, one yeah. fun. That one looked like fun. But I, I love anything related to the dogs. I've got two. Well, they're like our family dogs. So anytime I could, any excuse I have to post of the puppies, you know, I got to do it. Got to take yeah, it. I forgot, I forgot that you didn't respond to my draw yourself didn't. challenge. See, but not I'm very cool. honest about it. Yeah, but that's still not very cool. Well, now that we've said it on this, I, I feel like now I have to. That would be called big league. That's the, <laughs> that's the reference. You big league. Yeah, I, big I appreciate it. 
Yeah. I, I'm gonna it. no, I just postponed. I just put you on the back burner. Just like the league's been postponed. I just postponed the drawing. <laughs> All right, JP. Well, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day. And everyone, thanks for joining us. That's a wrap on our very first home edition of Marlins All Access, brought to you by your local Toyota dealers. Thanks for joining us, JP. Thanks for having me. Stay Please, safe. Stay safe.